All right. So I'm just going to pick a couple things here real quick because um, our focus is instruction, which we've talked a little bit about that. Uh, what about the role of parents? Uh, we've, we've actually had quite a lot of conversation about that, but just any, any statement to parents about their role in education is kind of, you know, your, your perspective and the importance of the role of parents just kind of condensed statement that you'd like to communicate as you talk to parents? Spiritual training. That's your job. Number one job, you should be spiritually training your kids. Um, everything else is secondary. Um, and that, that goes with like teaching them not just how to think, but what we learn and, or what we believe and why we believe it. Mm -hmm. um, they should know that inside and out and upside down. Um, from the moment they're, you know, very, very young, um, memorizing scripture. Um, we have a holiness cate catechism that we teach our kids. Um, you should be having discussions, real life discussions about Christian worldview, our Christian world worldview as a family. Um, that's number one for parents. All these other things are secondary. And that's why we consider our public school as secondary education for our kids. That's additional training. We train at home. And then they go there for, that's their lab. That's where they go to live out their faith, what we've taught them at home. Mm -hmm. um, yes, they learn math there and, you know, science and whatever, you know, but really what we do here is the most important. And I think all parents need to view that as their, their number one goal. You can't, even if you homeschool, um, you know, you can't, I've heard homeschool parents say, you know, I thought because I was teaching them at home, that I was spiritually training them, but they were so focused on math and history and whatever that they weren't focusing on the spiritual aspect of their children. Um, so it, whatever education perspective you come from, whether it's Christian school, homeschool, public school, whatever, that's number one for parents. Um, so not everybody that listens to this uh, will come from a Christian perspective, but I think mm -hmm. the, the, what you're saying is your kids, every, every child needs to have some uh, faith Value. and moral yeah. framework. Mm -hmm. And the parent is the person to teach that. Um, right. And so discover that what, you know, some parents may be, you know, not sure about that, but it's important that they discover that, um, that, you know, what is truth at the end of the day, mm -hmm. That's yeah. real. That's the ultimate question in life. What is truth? And as we seek for that, as we discover that, then we communicate that to our children because that framework will serve as a framework to help them in all of life, in mm -hmm. all of their engagement in society, uh, both in education, in the workforce, in, in every sphere, and even in a sense of personal identity. Who am I? What's my purpose? Why am I here? All of that really comes out of that core foundation of what is truth and, uh, you know, that whole faith and morality component. So, uh, yeah, perfect. And I think, too, when you talk about the role of parents, it's really important that we know our children and know their strengths and weaknesses, that we can come alongside them and help to, to nudge them, but help them develop their own interests and support that, and then do that in the context of actually living out our values as well. It's really easy to say, respect authority, but when someone doesn't treat you well at church or in the community, how do you respond? That says way more than 14 lectures on respect. You know, I think it's it's just so important that we live out these values and not just talk about them, but they actually become a part of our lives. And so that our kids are are learning that we support who they are becoming as, as they're seeking out their dreams and becoming the person that God has made them. But then we're also coming alongside and trying to not only tell them about the instruction side, but we are doing the life lessons and, and we're we're still growing too as their parents. It goes back to what we talked about at the beginning. You know, you can't really lead your children until you have that relationship with them. And so your job is to keep that grass mode between their heart and yours. Mm -hmm. And you, we have dates with our kids every week. 
um, except for in the summertime when it's crazy, but, um, you know, where we spend time we, with each child and talk to them and find out where they are and how they're feeling about things and how their relationships are going, what's going on at school and what do you think about this teacher and how do you feel about this? You know, those kinds of things, getting to know the child in their heart, you know, and in keeping that relationship open, you have greater influence and um, you can help lead them and guide them in a way that is really powerful if you have that kind of relationship with them. Mm-hmm. 